Uh, I'd like to present my teammates, the Seekers, and thank Us Creates for hosting us all weekend, as well as all the help we've had from the mentors. We are here to present a service called Cookable, which is for people who want to learn a little on the side and people who want to earn a little on the side. Uh, we saw an opportunity for people to connect over food in London. The diverse knowledge of cuisine and a community like this is a hidden treasure, a hidden treasure that we want to tap into and help people profit from. We met people who wanted to learn new, fast recipes to keep their families happy, and we also met people who wanted to explore ethnic cuisine. We're calling these people learners. However, cooking schools and classes cost too much money for them, at about 100 to 200 pounds a pop, or even more for a longer class. They're also seen as a big commitment. On the other side, we met people who are great cooks and have been toying with the idea of trying to turn this skill into money, but they don't have any idea where to start. So, please meet Cookable. It's a service platform connecting people who want to learn a little with people who want to earn a little. Our learners and our earners go through the journey and connect in the middle on this story. We have a little service prototype, it's very rough and ready, that we wanted to show you. Hey Dad, what's for dinner? Oh no, not beans on toast again. <laughs> Oh, a food even. I might get some inspiration there. At the promotional public food event. Hi, I'm Tomas. I'm an Italian cook and I live nearby. Hi, I love your food. I really need to learn new things to make quickly at home. I know some really fast Italian recipes I could teach you. Why don't you check out my profile on cookable.com? Brilliant. James Brass is the website where he finds cooks offering lessons in all different kinds of cuisine. He finds the chef that he met at the session and books a lesson. Hi, welcome to my place. This is where I cook at home. I do all of my family recipes here. Come on in, let's get cooking. It's really easy to get the seeds out of the pepper by running it under water. The water washes the seeds away. Cool. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I can do this. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you feel like you learned something. Please have the rest to take home. I will enjoy those all week. James returns to the website and leaves live feedback on his experience. I really like the new food, Dad. That was great, Han. It was cheap and easy to learn. Lesson with Tom would be a great gift for my niece. Da da da! Cook a ball. <laughs> so what did you all see in this video? You saw the same thing that the people we met out on the street saw. And a lot of the things that they told us have been incorporated into this prototype. They wanted fast and easy meals that they could prepare. They wanted to explore new cuisines. They wanted to be able to meet people nearby and not have the commitment of a cooking school. They said they were willing to pay between 20 and 40 pounds for this service. Interestingly, we met cooks who were willing to provide this service starting at 15 pounds just to cover their ingredients so they could build their confidence as they started this business. As they gained ratings and feedback, they'd want to move up to that 20 to 30 pound level. We're thinking about charging a three pound service fee for a lesson, partnering with pubs and music venues who would provide free space for kickoff events so people could get to know each other and the service before trying it out in the home. And we are looking at a growth market of food entrepreneurs, people in this city who are doing pop-up restaurants and starting small cupcake decorating and cookie businesses who would be happy to share their skills for an additional source of income. So we're going to open it up for questions and we're very happy to have had this conversation and chance to present with you.
We're the Team Seekers, and we're cookable! <laughs> to start out our saying thank you very much. It, uh, it's all very exciting to finally see your ideas and uh, how they're being presented, so well done for starting. Uh, I have a question around, uh, it looks like it's sort of a one-to-one -one service. I wondered if you could go into a bit more detail about that and why you've chosen to go down that route because I could see they could be quite intimidating to just turn up in somebody's <laughs> home and say, please can you teach me how to cook? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, one of the reasons we went the one-to-one -one route was for the earners, uh, the people who would be cooking, they thought it would be less intimidating to kind of teach in that one-to-one -one model in the kitchen, kind of the way they learned from their parents. Uh, it's a pretty natural teaching style because the learner then essentially becomes an assistant cook throughout the process, seeing how the task is done and then practicing it. And it really reflects that learn-by-doing model. <laughs> what will be the next question? Um, well, I was interested in the way that you mentioned uh, the, the idea of a gift for somebody else. Mm -hmm. I wondered if you had, uh, think that's an add-on for later, or that would be a core part of the proposition? Uh, I'd like to open that up to some of the people who did the user research and heard about how people wanted to give this as a gift. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the users saw it as a not just learning skills, but as an experience, and they saw it as a sort of experience proposition. And for that reason, they were quite keen on um, giving it to other people. They saw it as a sort of luxury experience that you give to people, you know, a sort of intriguing one. Um, so I think gifts would definitely be a sort of central part of how we would promote it. Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, a very interesting concept. What thoughts have you given to where it goes next after today? Where it goes next after today? Yeah. Uh, we're in terms of process in development or in terms of geographical region? Well, in terms of what are the next things to investigate and develop mm -hmm. in the service and of course. What, what, have, what have you as a team discussed? Uh, we did some back of the envelope uh, projections about how much it would cost to publicize one of these events to kind of get the service kicked off. Um, it looks like in order to pay for an event, we're going to need about 30 lessons sold. Uh, and that is kind of demanding from an event. So we'd like to start small, um, try this in a couple of pubs, see if we can get people involved, um, and do it that way. Uh, experiment before you build because uh, our initial estimate for how much the website would take to build, like the billing, the scheduling, was about five to seven thousand pounds, and we wanted to try it first. So, would you take it forward? Uh, it's we've seen this model done by Airbnb and TripBud, and it has really empowered a lot of local entrepreneurs and created great social impact in both those two cases. But in each case. The person who was leading it, it was a small team who didn't make any money for quite some time and did it out of pure passion to change the marketplace. And we think we have that passion, but we don't think that it wants to be our full-time job. So that's kind of where we're netting out. So, so what you're saying is between the seven of you, mm -hmm. some, some of you are interested in taking this forward informally on a part-time basis. Mm -hmm. Which of you is that? <laughs> 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 and, and the last question is what's in the pie in the picture you're holding on your planet on your page uh that is an apple pie i'm actually a foodie on the side i'm writing a book called midnight pie and other sweet treats uh so yeah that's a good reason for a lesson isn't it <laughs> thank you